Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and now a white supremacist. Yeah, they made a, uh, a racist Spider-Man. Uh, there were some like young filmmakers who raised $125,000 for a Spider-Man feature-length like fan film, and it went viral and got all that money. Um, but then, they eat the poo -poo. and it sucks for the people who were into it because the hype around it was legitimate hype. Like people who were into it were into it. And like, look at the suit that they made for it. That's a really good Spider-Man suit. Look how beautiful she is. And there were genuine reasons for people to be excited. The production value was actually, you know surprisingly good given that it was so small compared to what Marvel movies are using. And it's crazy because like John Watts, the director of the new, like the Tom Holland Spider-Man, like he reached out to the director of this and was like, bro, this is going to be so cool. I'm so excited for you guys. Can't wait to watch it. But then the actor for Spider-Man, Warden Wayne, which by the way, sounds like a cop name. We love you. You're very special. Uh, his DMs got leaked. Slur warning. His DMs are bad. Well, you're fat. Although, Slur looks like he bombs shit for fun. Don't know what that's about, but, you know, the word's enough. Oh, picture of a handsome young man and woman. Here you go. This, that Mexican... Okay. I commented, y'all ever make good and funny memes just to flex on blurred vision? Slur? And he got mad. Yeah, I wonder why he got mad. Maybe because of the slur? Also, the beginning of that is already just like a lame, cringe-ass thing to say. Y'all ever make good and funny memes? Well, actually, my favorite types of memes are good and funny. What are you talking about? Yeah. Slur was mad as hell, always saying slur and saying he had bitches. <sighs> All right, Warden, uh, challenge for you. Shut the fuck up forever. And if you're thinking they're faked, they're not. He's acknowledged them and like apologize for them, I guess. We'll get into that later, though. It does answer a couple questions, though. Like, there were some set photos from the third act of the movie that got leaked, and this is what Warden was wearing. Okay, let's look at his apology... What am I saying? Let's look at his apology and see what he said. Hello, everyone. Hey, everyone. I've decided to come out in regards to certain things from my past. Certain things meaning slurs. I've always thought it was better to be above reproach and come forward honestly about mistakes I made when I was younger. This is very hard to say, and I feel gross, but I'm coming clean. Semen is is another kind of milk. Years ago, when I was in high school, I used to say terrible things. I used offensive language, often homophobic or racially insensitive, casually or in jokes. I'm sorry, and I'm ashamed. This isn't my first rodeo. Okay, this paragraph, he blames it on how he grew up in Arkansas and his family was racist. Shout out to his family. Uh, the next paragraph, he blames it on his friends for being racist. Why were you friends with racists? Oh, but in this paragraph, he blames it on the people that he was associating himself with online. Why were you associating yourself with racists, Warden? You can't keep getting away with it! And he ends it with, uh, I hope y'all can forgive me. I'm sorry, I'm small being Spider-Man. I'm like Axel Weber. I swear, guys, it's not my fault. I was just surrounding myself with racists always. Warden Wayne, shut the fuck up. Juilliard presents the Warden Wayne musical. I'm not racist, everyone else was. I'm the 1% not racist in the KKK. But it wasn't just Warden. Uh, the director also had some DMs leaked where he was saying some very horrible as well as douchey things um, and slurs. Or as I like to call it, a young male film student. I swear to God, there is not a worse breed of human being than an 18-year-old director who thinks he's onto something. Gus. He's the type of guy to say, Guys, why are we even listening to the professor? They're just a failed filmmaker who couldn't make it, so they're teaching. Bro, you are a million times worse than your professor. Listen to what they're fucking saying. They're in the top 10% of people with a film degree that have an actual job. So shut the fuck up. You're not going anywhere. This is definitely not coming from some deeply traumatic place <clears throat> from my own experiences. Just kidding, I actually did go to a film school where I knew... Three total men who weren't pieces of shit, and the other 100 were egotistical, manipulative, abusive, women-hating, women-assaulting uh, type guys. And that's why when they say network in film school, I said, uh, no. But Ward and Wayne would have done it, baby. So it definitely fits with the whole racist Spider-Man thing. This director, Gavin J. Knopp, is stupid. And I hope you know I say that with all due respect, which for you, Gavin, is zero. You were due zero respect because you suck! And that was a nice one, okay. Keep fucking my wife's mouth! I'm going to. Listen, I've never made a good feature film. Like, objectively, I've made like one or two short films that I'm like, man, that's pretty funny. Everything else sucks. But I don't claim to be better than John Watts! Back to Warden Wayne the Musical starring Warden Wayne. Sure guys, slavery was bad, but... 
hard to play devil's advocate. So, I'm like, genuinely, I'm very sorry to anybody who donated to this movie, because there are people involved who are so sweet and so nice, and we love them, like the other actors in the project seem so sweet. But when Spider-Man's racist and the director's a piece of shit, um... It's just like, I don't want to watch the movie. Peace and love. Peace and love. Because fuck Ward and Wayne. Fuck Gavin Knopp. And if you think that I should watch it when it comes out and then give you like a reaction so you don't actually have to watch it and I can just give you my thoughts, uh, let me know. I'll do that. Well, if nobody gives a fuck, then I'll shut the fuck up. Uh, I love you so much. Ah!